All right, we'll do a little ride video. Let me open up a camber mount here. These work great for camera mounts, if you happen to have one. Mm -hmm. Just take it out of there and uh, put it up on the dash, it makes it non-skid. And uh, boom, there you go. Oh, so still a little tilty there, gotta fix that. Here we go. All right, so still feeling like uh, as vlogging life says, a bag of crushed assholes. But uh, trying to get out and make something happen today, just drive around. I don't know, man. Every time I try to uh, get up and do something, I feel uh, weak. But I guess that's what the flu is all about. So, I'm trying to battle through this flu. I haven't been sick in two years. Maybe a little over two years since my surgery. I don't know what they give you when you get surgery, but uh, they pump you full of antibiotics and. Uh, I haven't been able to get sick for two years, easy. I mean, nothing. Not a cold, sniffle, anything. And uh, I don't know, I think I got it from a Taco Bell that we ate at, me and Hans ate the other night and we both got sick. So uh, nobody else is sick yet. So I'm trying not to get everybody sick. So I'm trying to get out of the house today. I'm trying not to coop up, you know, but uh, got to go get a welding bottle filled today. Hopefully they're open. And uh, we'll get that done so we can weld some floor pans in, that beetle. And uh, I ran out of gas and wire all at the same time. So uh, I need to get some wire, need to get some gas, I need to work on my liner. It's not uh, feeding the wire very good. I think it's because the spool's getting low and it's getting sort of rusty, the wire. But uh, yeah. So I just wanted to say thanks for all the emails and phone calls and uh, you know, text messages asking about where I was at. Appreciate it. Uh, two years ago, nobody would have called because uh, I didn't have any friends two years ago. And uh, it's pretty amazing the, the group of guys that uh, watch my channel and comment and, uh, you know, follow along as we do projects together. Uh, we've become pretty good friends. And, uh, it's hard for me not to do videos because uh, it keeps me connected with you guys. And uh, you know, I don't get that interaction when uh, I don't make a video. I try to go comment on your videos and uh, look at your stuff, but it's not the same when you're not making a video. So uh, if you're just watching, pick the camera up and make the video because uh, it's completely different when you're making the video and putting it out there. I know some of you guys make videos and it's hard to get views sometimes, the way YouTube's changed and the way we see videos and the way they unsubscribe us from each other now. So uh, you constantly got to work at your channel anymore if you want to keep your subs. And uh, that's one thing that I don't like about the new YouTube page, it seems to unsubscribe people from you. And uh, once they get unsubscribed you don't get their videos or uh, any of that good stuff. So that's something that I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I know this is going to sound stupid to you guys and especially you guys that have put these videos in this spot. Uh, I really apologize. But uh, I realize that there's a video response question or section. And uh, some of you guys have responded to my videos in a video response. Uh, there's about 38 of those, 48 of those video responses that I haven't watched that I just uh, got informed that that's what that is. So I am new at this two years new I guess you know and uh, I had Gaden help me with it when I started and uh, he's not into the YouTube thing too much anymore you know and uh, we don't get to see each other a whole lot so Andrea and Hans has been helping me lately and uh, you know I just uh, I need to pay better uh, attention to my channel and uh, stuff like that I did uh, did anybody that's ever sent me a letter or a sticker, an envelope, or anything in the mail, I'm going to be writing letters to you guys. I figure that's a good project while I'm uh, recovering from the surgery. So I got all my mail together the other day, and I got a big old pile of mail. And uh, when I was sick the other day, or the last couple days, I've been reading through the letters that you guys sent. And some of you guys, uh, you got some real nice stuff to say, and that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, there again, two years ago, probably wouldn't have had any kinds of uh, interaction like this with a group of guys, you know. I did have a couple friends, but uh, it's a lot different when you got 
25, 30 guys pumping ideas your way. And, uh, you know, you guys are uh, making videos and getting ideas from stuff that you're doing. And uh, maybe some of you guys get ideas from stuff that I do. From reading your letters, it sounds like you do. And uh, it's hard for me to get my head wrapped around that, you know, that you guys actually think the channel's uh, helpful, you know. But uh, that was the intention, you know, to help people out when I started the channel. And uh, so I know some of you guys don't like the commercials on the channel. And uh, a lot of you guys don't know I had to sign up with a network because I had somebody trying to kill my channel. You know, they went in and click bomb my ads and uh, tied up all my Google stuff and uh, got me in trouble with Google. And uh, <clears throat> thank God for Social Blade. You know, they approached me and uh, made me a partner and uh, straightened everything out. And, uh, you know, I give a large part of what my channel makes to, uh, to that network. But uh, it enables me to put videos up and know that you guys will see them and uh you know they won't get tampered with so that's the reason for the commercials that's the reason for being with a network i know some of you guys don't like it but uh you know the network's done for more for me than uh than hurt me for sure uh uh vlogging life sort of got me into the network thing you know i was going through all the stuff having all kinds of trouble and uh Adam answered every question I gave him. I mean, I don't know what to say about that guy over at Blogging Life. Uh, the dude's awesome. And uh, if you need any tech advice or uh, computer stuff, that's the channel to go watch. The Northern Tech or Blogging Life. He does a lot of uh, a lot of uh, reviews on cameras and such, and uh, computers and tablets and uh, you know all kinds of stuff. The guy's just really sharp when it comes to computer stuff and uh he makes some damn good videos too he's a daily vlogger and another guy that i watch a lot and uh so you know i got a lot of people that i'm subscribed to that aren't car people too and uh i've made friends with you guys and uh some of you guys uh, aren't car guys are watching car guy videos now and are subscribed to some of my uh people that are subscribed to me you know I see you guys over on their channel uh, one person that I wanted to mention this morning is uh, cameo collection she's uh she's a lady I watch she does a vlog every once in a while and uh, she did a video this morning that uh, sort of captured my attention and I watched a video link to her video it's called justice for summer and uh, you guys could, should go check that video out justice for summer I'm sure if you type it in, it'll uh, come up. It's the Snell family. It's a story about a little girl, six years old, that went to school and was attacked at a school by a high school student or a middle school student. Apparently there's a preschool, kindergarten, and high school mixed together. They share a lunchroom and uh, a few other common areas. And this particular uh, young man, whatever you want to call him, uh, is almost 200 pounds and uh, he was new to the school this little girl's family had been in the area for 81 years had grown up in the uh, Kansas City area and uh, the little six-year-old girl was going to the bathroom and she was attacked by this goon and uh, it's totally destroyed this little girl's life and this kid's still going to school walking around free and the investigation got botched and uh it's a mess you guys should go over there call the phone numbers complain especially if you live in kansas kansas city area you know uh i don't know what to say every time i see something like that i mean i think of my daughter uh i just can't believe that stuff happens but obviously it does so uh you guys go check that video out and uh, put your two cents in over there. And then another video that I watched this morning, more on a positive note, was uh, Big Eric. I want to give him a shout out and say congratulations to you and Preston and uh, your daughter and uh, your wife there on your garage. Uh, you go, go tell Eric or congratulations, Big Eric. Uh, he broke ground on his garage, and that's been one of his dreams 
for the last two years. He's in the YouTube garage. He doesn't make a whole lot of videos. Uh, he's battling uh, spinal disease, and uh, he's a really good guy. But uh, him and Preston, his son, are building a shop, and uh, it's just really cool to see it taking place and the, the groundbreaking. And uh, they were pouring, uh, or not pouring it, but uh, shoveling and leveling the foundation out and uh, digging the footers and stuff. So he's pretty excited. You guys go over and tell him congratulations. And uh, it's gonna be a beautiful garage, 28 by 40. So it's about the same size as uh, my shop, sounds like. But uh, it's freaking awesome to see him get his garage he's wanted for a long time. And uh, I'm sure they'll do some uh, cool videos for us once they get that up and going. So anyway, just rattling on now. I'll probably turn this camera off and uh, try to turn it back on after I get some uh, supplies. I need to pick up some welding gas, like I said, and some stuff. I don't know if that's going to be open today or not, but uh, I'll try to get up another video here or a couple more today. I'm feeling a little better. At least I can stand up without uh, puking today. So I saw where a lot of you guys are sick. Super OV10 says they're spraying us with this shit, and that's why we're all sick. And then I saw where uh, Steve is sick too. Astro ZZ3, he's been sick for nine days. So that's why we haven't been getting any uh, IROC videos. Did go for one short ride when he put the exhaust back on there. And uh, so I hope you feel better, buddy. I hope everybody out there that's battling this stuff gets over it. And uh, yeah, it's crazy how, uh, you know, we go all that time, nobody gets sick, and then all of a sudden everybody in the garage is sick. It's just uh, sort of unusual. But, uh, when I said that's the case, you can't control it. You know, you got to breathe the air outside and they know it, so. So, any hoozle, I'm going to go ahead and turn this bad boy around. I've just been driving to drive. No, no particular destination. Uh, went to Mickey D's and got me a Coke. Nothing tastes right, so every time uh, I put something in my mouth, it will spit it out because it doesn't taste right, you know? So uh, that's where we're at. And uh, I'm not making too much snot anymore. Like Scott said, I was uh, making snot, and somebody said they had to go blow their nose after they watched my video yesterday. So, uh, so yeah, it's uh, definitely feeling a little better today. And uh, hopefully the girls don't get it, you know, and uh, everybody will make it through the holidays without being sick. So the kids are home from school for another couple days. And uh, I guess they go back to school next week. So I've been, uh, sorry about the camera there, guys. I've been trying to get uh, Hans to get out in the garage with me a little bit, but he doesn't want no part of it, you know. So I don't hassle him too much about it. He's just not into the garage thing. And... Uh, yeah, he's into the computer thing for sure. And uh, he's into the stuff that I'm not into, so we can't really uh, share that passion together. He's into the, uh, you know, the gaming and stuff and all that good stuff. He, he, he lives for that stuff. So hopefully, uh, you know, whatever. I don't know. You know, hopefully he's not getting too much of that stuff and uh, hopefully he doesn't go psycho on me like, uh, you know, I don't know. He seems to be a good kid, though, so I don't uh, question it too much, you know. I just uh, let him do his thing, and uh, he doesn't get away with murder by any means, so don't get me wrong. We're uh, not that way. I know his mom likes to be his friend, but uh, I try to be the parent myself, you know, and uh, I'm the hard ass, I guess. And if that's how it's got to be, one parent's got to be the hard ass, and that'll be me. But... Uh, you know, I don't know, kids are hard to figure out, you know. I'm, I'm sort of, I'm trying to learn lessons from different guys in the garage that have relationships with their son. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's not easy. So here's some uh, hooping, hooping cranes. Hooping cranes. Come on. Come on, knucklehead. Take your time now. I'm not in any kind of hurry or anything. So those birds are... Uh, I don't know if they come down from the south or the north or if they uh, live here year round. But we got a lot of hooping cranes down here. A lot of them, a lot of them. So. 
Yeah, we're out in uh, the back of, uh, where are we at? Hell, I don't even know where we're at. We're just driving. So anyway, so anyway, again, thanks for all the well wishes. Thanks for all the comments. I'm going to get in there and answer all that stuff. A lot of you guys just said get well soon, you know. I'll just say thanks or whatever. Keep it short. But uh, I really appreciate the concern, guys. And uh, try to get back to making some videos. I know it's uh, it's been a little lax. And it's uh, it's not because I haven't wanted to make them, you know. It's just because I've, I've been feeling really bad. So uh, definitely feeling better today. Can, uh, you know, get a full sentence out without losing my breath. So, there's something wrong when you see churches for sale and foreclosed on. Just, uh, I don't know. But anyway, let me go ahead and shut this off. And, uh, we'll talk to you guys a little later. And, uh, shit, I got more to say. I don't think that I'm going to make the video too long, though, because it, uh, you know, it gets hard to upload them. And, uh, makes them hard for you guys to watch them, too, the long ones. But, uh, I just want to say thanks again, and uh, definitely helps you get uh, back on your feet, and uh, makes me want to get out in the garage and uh, do some stuff, and uh, get back connected with you guys. So uh, it's going to be impossible for me to stay in bed for three months. Sort of uh, figured that out over the last couple days. I don't know what's going to go on with that. They're going to have to sedate me or something because uh, it's just not in me to do nothing, and. Uh, I try, but it's just hard for me. So, so let me go ahead and shut this off, and uh, we'll talk to you guys a little later. You guys have a safe uh, New Year's Eve. Hope you stay home, and uh, you know, don't go out and get too crazy, because uh, bad shit happens after midnight, and uh, we should all be home. So, uh, you know, never sacrifice your safety for one night of fun. You know. Uh, guys out there are pretty important to people and uh, it would suck to lose any of you guys so you guys uh, be careful out there tonight and uh, don't party too hard but uh, you know have fun and uh, have a good New Year's so. all right let me go ahead and shut this down and uh, we'll talk to you guys in a little bit